Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well. And in this video, I wanted to talk about how I will be getting out of the military. So as you all know, if you've been a fan of my channel or you've watched my videos in the past, then you already may know that I have actually been uh, serving in the military for like the last four years now. And or well, three and a half, if you want to get technical. And next year on February will mark my four years in, which also marks my uh, end of tour or uh, my end of my obligated service. So what does that mean? That means essentially that I'm going to be getting out. And when I get out of the military, I'm going to start working on transitioning into a job of my own choosing that I want to do. See, I like being in IT and I like doing IT related things. I've always been that kind of person, you know, an IT who's done this and this and this for who knows how long now. And me getting out of the, no, I mean, let me just back up a little bit and say that the military in itself has not been kind to me, but, but that's not entirely its fault. It's also some of it's uh, my fault as well, right? Like for instance, uh, things that happen, right? I, I made a few videos about being honest and whatnot. And uh, that, that plays a big role. The military teaches you to be more honest. At, at least it tries to like push you in that direction so you don't end up making mistakes that are very common. And uh, you can't get fired from the military unless you do something really, really stupid and bad, right? You, you can't really get kicked out unless you're like genuinely trying to get kicked out, which takes a kind of a lot to do. And even if you do do the things, you could still maybe end up being okay and staying in. And... I think that's the problem with it as well is uh they definitely try to keep people in and, and it's not their fault right they the you know, military is very uh in need of people and it's hard for people to stay in especially people who are in IT right if you work within the cyber the uh, intelligence field you probably know what I'm talking about because not just the military or not just the Navy in itself, but all branches of the military with maybe the exception of the Air Force because they uh, they seem to be doing something right. Um, a lot of people do decide to stay in and and then get out later. But for me uh, and my experience with the Navy, the Navy tries to keep ITs in because, well, ITs are a very, you know, high paying job on the civilian side. Right. And, and like I've, I've been told this, that it's not all about money and that money isn't the end all be all kind of solution I should be looking towards. But when it comes to living, right, living in this modern world and this modern day society, it's hard to be able to live making thirty two thousand a year or less than that. Now, it's just hard. It's not it's not possible, at least it's not entirely possible. Right. I mean, there are incentives to being in the military like you get housing paid for you you uh you have a place to work you, you do have a place to sleep and eat if you cannot live somewhere you can still get those benefits and you can still survive but i'm not trying to survive i'm trying to live and by getting out of the military and transitioning into a civilian job that's going to pay far more yes i'm sacrificing some of those benefits right i know for a fact though i'm going to be keeping a lot of my benefits and uh you know i still get to be able to go to the va and whatnot and go do that and get insurance and stuff but but i will say this that it is definitely a challenge to live the way i want to live while being in the navy it's not something that i want to do forever as much as i really wanted to do it forever i couldn't put myself i couldn't set my my own ambitions and goals aside to to keep folding and adjusting to how and when and where the military may want me or where it needs me to be at because ultimately we all do want to do our own thing and some people can just live how the military guides them and there's nothing wrong with that right there's nobody's fault for wanting to be guided through right be assisted i'm afraid of getting out like that one of my bigger biggest fears is not being able to find good work afterward and that i'll be stuck in a job that i won't like or not i won't have any job and and nobody will want to hire me so that that's a, a fear that i have it's I, I i call it an irrational fear an irrational thought and i'm sure everybody deals with it right because the job market is very very challenging but I still want to work government. Don't get me wrong. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to work government. I just don't want to be under the thumb of the military, right? A government contractor, if anything, would be the best suited for me where I'm kind of obligated to do like four or five years as a contractor. But instead of like four or five years of the same rank with maybe a few competitive uh, other ranks and 
you know, making E5 or staying at E5 for who knows how long, I can end up making from, let's say, 70,000 all the way up to like 110 or 115 or even 90,000. Like, that, that's honestly far better than what I would be making as an E5 or an E6. The only time it starts to really matter, like how, like how much you make as an enlisted personnel is when you hit E7, E8, or E9. So you got chief, senior chief, master chief, and uh, or you're an officer. And I was originally going to be an officer. I wanted to be an officer because I wanted to uh, get my schooling done, get my uh, bachelor's degree, and then uh, put in for a commission, and then you know walk out of there as a newly commissioned officer. But again, the military is not something that I want to do forever, and it took me it took me a while to realize that. And I'm kind of now realizing, yeah, th this is something that I'm gonna have to deal with, right? I I'm. Right now, I'm currently staying in my little uh, housing or the little uh, barracks that they gave me. But I know that a month prior to my departure, I'm going to have to move out and I'm going to have to figure out something fast. But I do have like six months. I have six months until then. So I have some time to figure everything out. And I definitely have time to start putting in my resume to different places like on LinkedIn, Indeed, and all the other places. If, uh, if YouTube was something that I was like banking off, then I wouldn't do anything. I would honestly just do YouTube for my career and, and do that. that. That would honestly be really fun, but not everyone could be a YouTuber for a living. It's just not practical for me at the moment. Uh, my channel's not big enough, unfortunately, but hopefully one day it will be, and I can use this as like a means of making a uh, secondary income. So I, you know, I can have the the luxury of having two jobs, right? I, I actually like to work, unlike some people I know who hate working and they want nothing to do with work. And that's okay, you know? No one no, work is not fun, right? If if I'm doing something and it's a hobby and I'm making money off of it, even better. It doesn't feel like a job, and I feel like that's how it's going to be for me when I'm uh, if I go government contracting and I get a job at what I like to do as an IT. I feel like that in itself won't be a bad problem for me. Like I feel like that work won't be work, and instead it'll be like a really nice hobby that I'm getting paid for. And if I only have to work like forty hours a week and still get that much money you know and this is it's, it sounds kind of like oh he wants this and that but honestly i feel like i deserve that because uh i spent four years of my life being in it getting paid you know significantly less and also working for more than 40 hours a week with additional like weekend duty i feel like i could definitely i feel like i'm worth getting paid 60 to eighty thousand, maybe even a hundred and ten thousand a year then I don't know, right? It's just me though. I I'm starting to see and realize my worth. Everyone goes through that phase, you know. You're everyone's worth something in high value. Everyone's worth some value of something. Nobody's worth nothing. Nobody. So, and I just want I want I want my message to be to you guys that if you are quitting something that you were doing and you got comfortable doing, just know that it's not the end of the world. You can find something different. Right. And if let's say you're you're jumping between jobs right now and you're in your twenties, your early twenties, early thirties, and you're not happy with where you are, then honestly, I do recommend going into the military. It's gonna sound cliche, but it will set you up. It will actually set you up. Because of the military now, I can confidently say that I can build myself a resume, uh, after some guidance, of course, because I've never had to build one. And I can start publishing it to all these different places. And I feel confident that somebody's going to reach out to me or I can apply to all these positions and different spots. And, and plus, you know, I'm prior government, so I can use prior, I can use government jobs as, as leeway pretty much like a, a easier way to get hired as a, in a government position is to pretty much just apply as already a prior enlisted and see where that goes. Honestly, I'm hoping that I can, uh, I'm hoping that I can uh, make it big out there one day, right? I want to I wanna get a job that I'm comfortable with, that I like doing, and that I can be a part of for four or five, six years, and hopefully scale and get, you know, get paid the big bucks one day. And uh, I also hope to make this channel something bigger than what it is now because uh, I love YouTube. I love doing YouTube stuff. I love doing YouTube videos, and I love watching videos. And uh, I actually just got a text from one, of my, uh, from one of my brothers, and he told me that he likes to watch my videos. And he said, I'm entertaining, and he feels that the channel is more human. But uh, he's kind of getting off topic now, but I'm get that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about was I'm getting out of the military, and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to stop making videos for a little while because I'm going to try to figure out work. 
or how how everything's gonna go but i'm gonna do my best to keep you guys all updated and informed because uh videos are fun to make and i gotta start making them again right i gotta start pumping them out so uh, anyways guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe for more and i will see you all in the next video peace out Thank you.